This technique will make it just way easier to um, put webbing inside a strap made out of waterproof canvas. Now, if you're using quilt and cotton, then the other technique will be fine because the fabric is soft enough that it will be turned inside out easily, but not with uh, waterproof canvas. And that's how your strap is going to look. See, you have the both stitchings on each side of the strap, but in the back, here's the fold, but you didn't have to go through the struggle of sewing it together, doing the seam, turning it inside out, and then having to push the webbing through the tube of fabric until it's like all the way inside. That is just too much work. This is way faster. And this works great for this waterproof Canva because this fabric is pretty stiff, pretty sturdy, but I like my straps to be extra strong. So that's why I put webbing inside my straps. So the way you make this type of strap without having to fold the fabric first and turn it inside out and then push the webbing through the strap is like this. You take a piece of fabric and you cut the strip of fabric, however the length is that you need, in this case is 42 inches by two and three quarters of an inch. So the width is two and three quarters of an inch, whatever the length that you need for your strap. So you're gonna cut this strip of fabric, you're gonna cut your webbing. This is a one inch webbing one inch wide. So you're gonna cut your webbing to the length that you need. Once you do that, you're going to attach, you're gonna stitch together the webbing to the fabric just on one side of the fabric. Just pick, pick a side, doesn't matter. And you're going to align it along the edge and you're just gonna stitch it all together at about a quarter of an inch seam allowance, okay? Once you do that, you come back here and you're going to fold the webbing over, okay? Towards the fabric, towards the other side of the fabric so that the fabric is now covering the webbing on the side, on the side that you stitched and on the other side. So as you can see like that, if this is, you know, folded. And you still have three quarters of an inch here left over, right? Because one, one plus three quarters of an inch. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to fold this little bit of fabric that you have left in half. Kind of to touch, you want the edge, one edge of the fabric, of this the strip of fabric, when you fold it, it's kind of going to touch the other edge of the fabric right here. So it's about a quarter inch. And then you're going to fold it over again to cover the stitching that, it, uh, that you have from when you joined the webbing to the fabric. So there you go. It's like that. And now you just take a wonder clip and you do that and you do that along the entire strap. I was getting started. But I wanted to show you. And it's gonna be a little bit loose. You're gonna have, you know, it's not super tight, and that's the whole idea. Because if it's super tight, um, when you're stitching, the fabric can get can move. And so we're just covering the stitching, okay? There. And of course, I like to put way more wonder clips in between. Like I put like in this little piece right here of three inches, I would put probably 
five in between those three inches. Like I put a lot of wonder clips because I don't want my fabric to move around when I'm stitch when I'm running it through the machine. Sometimes that happens. And you know. Now if you're using like a walking foot, then that really helps pull the fabric from the bottom and the top. Obviously that's not necessary for this uh, project, this material. The, you know, the fabric will move, but I just, I don't know, I like that. Okay, so once you do that, and you are going to stitch over it at about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. You pretty much are going to stitch it where it's gonna be really close to this edge, okay? You want this fabric to be secured. That's how it will look on the back, and that's how it will look in the front. Now, once you're done stitching it, I have one that I finished. This is how it will look once you're done stitching it on one side, right there. And that's how it will look in the front. And then I went ahead and I stitched on this side as well. I top stitch it on that side so that it will match. So I hope this was useful for you and that's how you put um, webbing inside a strap without having to turn it inside out.